Hello everyone. You are probably thinking I'm playing these video games, but uh, it's not. Actually, it's a self-driving car I had implemented uh, using neural network. Uh, although it's a simple self-driving car system, actually, uh, it works uh, with respect to your uh, steering angle based on your road position. Uh, actually, what I did, I just uh, drove uh, this car manually and I had collected lots of images uh, and uh, uh, and also some levels uh, corresponding to that. So the level was like your steering position based on your image correspond. Like, uh, see, this is the image. Okay, now you can see the road. And uh, in uh, so at, so on that road, actually, how much your car is like moving the steering. So you can see the steering position here. So that's kind of data I have collected and I have uh, trained a neural network. Uh, so that is able to like, you can say, uh, predict the steering angle based on your uh, image position and uh, image location and your based on your image. So, okay, so see, actually, uh, see if you are collecting around ten thousand of images, and if you are training a neural network, uh, so you should be able to like uh, predict for sure. Okay, uh, the next uh, you can say uh, outcome. So kinds of uh, like that. Okay, but uh, if I talk about uh, the actual self-driving car system, so it's like more complex. So you don't work there. So for that, you need to handle out lots of things, and you need to uh, keep uh, many things in your mind. Okay, suppose uh, the pedestrian and the traffic sign and uh, the other cars on the road. Okay, uh, so then your uh, traffic, you can say policy, all the thing you need to take care. Uh, otherwise, like it don't work. And uh, in actual car, there would be a lots of sensors and cameras. Okay, so uh, that that things also you have to ha actually. So this thing also you have to handle. But uh, here. Uh, how did I collect this data? Actually, you can use uh, a lot of simulator uh, are available. Uh, so actually, I had uh, actually I had used this uh, Udacity's uh, self-driving car simulator for collecting the data. Uh, so what I did, I just uh, downloaded that Udacity's self-driving car simulator and I just drove the car manually. So what it do? So what it does? It has you can say three cameras uh, actually. Uh, with atas to uh, so it has three cameras with atas to with your car like uh, right side left side and front side so what it will do when whenever you will be driving the car so it will uh, take the picture of that okay and it will like uh, uh, give you and it will also save uh, and it and it will also save the uh, steering angle uh, based on the, uh, you can see miss position based on the road position uh, so you don't have to like you can say manually level that so it's a, a good thing and that's why I had collected and uh, I, I had trained the neural network with respect to that images. Okay. Uh, so let me show you the images uh, once so that like you can get familiar with. So guys, uh, this is the images. So you can see this is the images uh, actually. Uh, so it's a front view like that. You have a left, right view also. See, this is the left view and uh, like that you have also right view. Uh, so you can see it's working good. Although I have uh, just considered the steering position. Let me show you uh, <laughs> with other road. So this is the uh, another track. So I'm just selecting and let's uh, do it in auto autonomous mode. And see, uh, it is also performing good here. Uh, actually, it's a simple self-driving car, but uh, uh, if you're learning, okay, so it's a great project to get started. Actually, you will get a lot of fun, okay, whenever you will be implementing that project. Uh, so I would highly recommend just uh, go through that kinds of project, okay, if you're learning computer vision and deep learning. Uh, so that will help you understanding in depth, okay. Uh, so. <clears throat> So now you can ask me like uh, which framework I have used. Okay, so actually I have used uh, the TensorFlow Keras. Uh, you can also use the PyTorch. Okay, it's up to you. Uh, but in that project, I use Keras. Okay, uh, now we can see it's working good. So I will give you the code. Uh, if you are interested, just deep dive in the code. Okay, and you can uh, run that project in your system also. I have written each and every step. Okay, you can follow. Uh, and uh, again, I'm telling you, okay, it's not a fully self-driving car. Okay, it's kind of, you can say, dummy project. Uh, it's an interesting project. Okay, if you're learning, then you can get started with that. So I hope uh, you have liked it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yes, guys, uh, thank you so much.